I started feeling this weird feeling in my throat. This nose right here, this nostril, is being a badass. Right. And it keeps running. So I just shoved toilet paper in there. Our I'm fans. still a little bit sick. You can hear it in your voice. But I'm better. I got a couple of DMs from people saying I should do the throw up prank, which is perfect because I'm still a little bit sick. This sickness I have right now, it's so random because I'll be right? fine for like two days and then it just comes out out of nowhere. Hey guys, I am on my way to the hospital, the emergency room right now because I have these symptoms. Remember those videos when I was telling you guys I felt sick and I didn't know what it was? Well, it's so on and off and it's been going on for two months now where I have a stuffy nose and the liquid, like the stuff that comes out of my nose is not regular. It's like um, clear and it's uh, like the consistency is almost like a teardrop or water. So doctors are thinking it could be a brain leak and I'm scared because if that's what it is and it can cause so many other problems like meningitis and just open my brain up to so many infections and that's not what we want. So I'm gonna go get it checked out. Um, Babe is taking me to the hospital right now. I can't go to the walk-in clinic because they're scared with this whole pandemic happening. Um, so they won't take me. Um, so I gotta go check check it out at the emergency room. But you guys remember when I did um, the COVID test for the first time and I had that like lump in my throat, that sensation I was feeling, I explained it to you guys. Um, that's when all of this started. Like all my symptoms started coming on and I didn't know what it was and I just left it alone because it was so on and off. Like it wouldn't happen consistently. It was very periodically. Right. And then when that snot goes down into my throat, it's weird because I can't breathe properly, especially in the nighttime. It gets yeah, really bad at the night. At the nighttime, like I'll hear her and she's wheezing and stuff and I'm like, baby, okay? She's like, I can't breathe and stuff like that. So it's a little bit scary. Um, although we did Google this and the same symptoms are connecting with what she has. Mm -hmm. We know how Google is, you know, but we're just trying to be safe. I don't want her to worry too much mm -hmm. um, about it, but it's been coming on and off and we got to handle the situation right now because we don't want it to be bad. And you know, it's, it's always safer to find out what's going on right away rather yeah. than later, you know, when it's too late or gone too far. So. Mm -hmm. And <sighs> I spoke to the doctor and I explained to them, like I was doing my research, I feel like it could be this um, brain leak. So it's called CSF. And she's like, yes, that is a possibility. So you need to go get checked out right now. You can't wait. So that's why we're on our way. But she was like, the reason I'm thinking it could be that is because when you have this snot coming down, uh, your nose and going into your throat you lose your smell and your taste which i do and it's about for like an hour and it's so weird because every time it would happen i'd be like i have covid but i don't right? right so it was the weirdest thing to me it was the weirdest sensation to me and i just want to make sure that i will be okay because if it is a brain leak no it's not that no way it, it could be, be like um post nasal drip um i don't know i don't think it's allergies because it would be more consistent and it would happen every time right. um i don't know what i'd be allergic to i've never had allergies before um with a brain leak they said it's most possible um with people who have had like traumas or surgeries before that went bad and you haven't had any i haven't had any so of those we're, we're thinking that's a good sign because she hasn't had that yeah. but we don't know so we're gonna go check it out right now um, as soon as we get back, we'll let you guys know, keep you guys updated. But again, you guys are family, so we just wanted to take you guys on this journey with us and just make sure that she's safe. So y'all comment below and just give us some prayers, man. Yes, so we will keep you updated. The sad thing is that Babe can't come in with me because of the pandemic, obviously. Um, so they're only letting the people in that are feeling sick. Listen, man, I'm going to find my way in there. I'm going to be like, yo, I'm sick, man. I got to be with her. I got the same thing. Oh I got the God. same thing, blood. You ain't dealing with her and you're not dealing with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll keep you updated. <laughs> what if I put a ring on you? What if I put a ring on you? Right now, don't let me wait for you. You know that my love is true. Something about the way you move, I wanna escape with you. The way that you touch in my body, I know it, I know it. You making me wanna get down on one knee and propose it. So I told her right now, right now, ooh, we should go ahead and get married right now. Right now. Alright, baby girl's about to.
to go in. I'm gonna go in with her as well. Just for like just to see what's going on. But I'm gonna double mask because I want to make sure I'm not getting sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gotta be careful. Right. Okay. I don't even care if I can't breathe properly. I just need to make sure that I'm safeguarding myself as much yeah, as I can. Yeah, sanitizer. Yes. Oh, I forgot to bring it though. Although that doesn't really work. They'll you know probably what I'm have some in there. Yeah. Although you know? that doesn't work anyway. So we're gonna head inside right now, y'all. Yeah. I made sure I ate before I came because sometimes you're yeah, in there for a long time. I know, but I got you. Anything you need, you know? Just holla at me. I'm you only want go away. Please wait. Oh my god. There's a bunch of people waiting right now. It's very ridiculous. It's something that's laying down. It'll break it. Bro, oh, we're waiting in a line. But that means you have to wait. Probably for everybody to be seen. Hi. Hi. I'm here because the doctor told me to come because I might have a breathing. Alright y'all, they said I'm not allowed to come in with her, mm. so I'm about to leave her right now, but I'm able to um, either text her or call her and talk to you, so if you need anything, just call her me. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, a mask kiss, guys. It's better than nothing. Okay. Bye. I will be here for, I don't know how long, but I will keep you guys updated. Uh, Have you been tested for COVID before during all those symptoms? Yeah, and then it was negative. Okay. Okay. So we are at like a three hour wait right now. Could be longer, could be less. Just okay. all depends what comes in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put you right here. I just need you to take everything off the cup, including your bra. The ties of the gown go to the back. Okay. I'm back, I'm back home, eagerly waiting. I spoke to Babe Girl. She let me know she hasn't been seen yet. Um, it's been about two and a half hours. Um, I know she told me it was gonna be a three hour wait, but this three hour wait, you know, is it's it's very scary, you know. So normally, like, I wouldn't be nervous, and obviously, when you see me on the camera earlier, I was kind of being like joking around just to bring up her spirits, you know what I'm saying? But deep down inside, this time I'm a little bit worried. Like normally, baby girl be coming like, oh, babe, I feel sick or this or that, and I'm just like, nah, you're not sick, go. Drink your rum tea and go drink some tea and make her soup and all that good stuff. And, you know, she'll get better. And that's what's been happening. She would tell me, oh, I'm sick. I feel sick. Her nose would be running. She'd be wheezing all the time. And I would make her some soup, give her some ginger tea with honey and lemon and all that stuff. And a couple of days later, she'll feel better. So I'm like, okay, maybe she has allergies or maybe something is going on. But this time it's a little bit different because... This has been happening multiple times over and over and over and over. And last night was kind of when I was like, you know what? Something has to be wrong because of the way that she was breathing. Um, her nose was super stuffed. You can hear it in her throat and she was just wheezing throughout the night. And I wasn't able to sleep properly. So I'm like, you know what? In the morning, you know, we're going to call the doctor and see what's going on. But what really got me was when the doctor said, hey, it might be CFS and that's like what is talking about some leakage of the brain and all that i don't even want to go that route because we don't know what it is and i don't want to get too worried i don't want her to be worried and i don't want to think about surgery or anything like that because that's just a little bit too much for me i'm just gonna go ahead and get some dinner ready for her so that she's good when we come back and again you know we're sharing this with you guys just because this is this is a day in the life y'all ask what's going on instead of us just not shooting about it or just shooting right now to let you know what's going on with baby girl so this is what it is hopefully she calls me soon and says you know come pick me up everything is good we don't know guys we don't know so i'll talk to y'all soon when i hear from her and just keep y'all updated love y'all man here's my little outfit um just the top off the bottoms are still on but i'm just waiting for the doctor to come back i just got a covid test done as you can see my nose my eyes are watering um but basically the doctor told me that he doesn't know what i could have so i just have to wait it out and see and the best thing he can do for me right now is a covid test i don't i don't, I don't Sort of came to pick me up. It is now 7.15. Right. I got in there at 4.30. They did nothing 
for me. I just don't understand how somebody comes in with a problem mm -hmm. and you're telling me they didn't do no scans, no MRIs, no nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, the most he did was ask me about my symptoms and then that was it. He was like, I'm just going to give you a COVID test. Bruh, what? See, that's the problem now with this whole Rona situation. Everybody believes, oh, Rona this, Rona that, and not taking situations uh, serious. And then next thing you know, down the line, something happens. Mm -hmm. I have a meeting tomorrow, and basically what I'm going to have to do is go to that doctor and be like, can you set me up with a ears, eyes, and nose specialist? Because I need someone to look at my symptoms. Rare. Like, God forbid it is COVID, but I highly doubt it because Reef is fine. Everyone I've been around is fine. And it just comes on and off, on and off, on and off. I don't think that's COVID. Like, it comes today, it goes tomorrow. Mm hmm You know? Hopefully you're, you're okay. I know. That's that's what I'm hoping for. So I guess I'm just going to go home and have some tea. Like, I don't know. Until we can figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um, but yes, guys, thank you for coming with us on this journey. This healthcare journey, or lack thereof, um, and I hope I'm okay. I hope you guys are all okay, and we will see you in the next one. Later, y'all. Yeah. We should go ahead and get married. We should go ahead and get married. I don't wanna put a rush on you. Hope I ain't putting too much on you. Way more than a crush on you, and you love it when I touch on you. Yeah, I feel why I'm time.